Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We have learned in CBEC effect that the temperature difference can be converted into potential difference. In this video, we are going to learn about Peltier effect and Thomson effect. In the year 1834, Peltier discovered that when electric current is passed through a thermocouple, then heat is evolved at one junction and heat is absorbed at the another junction. For example, current flows from copper to iron. Then at this junction, heat will be absorbed. So, it becomes cold. And at this junction, heat is evolved. So, it becomes hot. This phenomenon is referred as Peltier effect. If we reverse the, the direction of flow of current, then this junction becomes hot and this junction becomes cold. So, Peltier effect is a reversible effect. This I will uh, demonstrate using Peltier plate. I told you earlier, Peltier plate consists of large number of thermocouples connected in series. I will pass current through this to show you how the Peltier effect works. Here I have placed a Peltier plate on this uh, aluminum heat sink and between them I have applied a heat sink paste such so that whatever heat is generated at one end of this plate can be transferred to this heat sink. Now I will connect the ends to power supply. This is connected to positive terminal and the black wire is connected to negative terminal of power supply. This way. Now I turn on the power supply. Now I will place, I will put one drop of water on this printer plate so that it becomes easy for me to measure the temperature. I am going to use this uh, thermometer to measure the temperature difference. I turn on this. It shows a 33.7 degrees Celsius, which is the room temperature. I place this on water drop. You can observe the temperature is keep decreasing. Earlier it was a 33 something. Now it has reduced to 21 degrees Celsius. Now it is 20 degrees Celsius. It is keep reducing. Now the temperature has reduced to 17.8 degrees Celsius. Let us keep reducing. From 33, the temperature has reduced to 17 degrees Celsius. So this end of the Peltier plate is absorbing heat so it becomes cold. Now we will measure the temperature of this heat sink. I can feel the heat. Is it here? You can see the temperature is keep increasing now. It has reached 32 degrees Celsius and it's keep increasing. This shows that when a current is passed through a thermocouple, one end becomes hot, another end becomes cold. 
this phenomena is uh, known as Peltier effect and it is a reversible effect. If I reverse the direction of current, then the junctions, the hot junction will become cold and the, the cold junction will become hot. Now, we will discuss about another phenomena called as Thomson effect. Seebeck effect and the Peltier effect are observed in thermocouples. Whereas Thomson effect is observed in a metal bar. For example, if I take a, a copper bar A, B and I hit that at the center C then the current I which is flowing through this from A to B will make this bar to have heat unequally. See, A to C heat will get absorbed. That means this is the cold region. Whereas here B to C heat is evolved. So this, this region is hot. The flow of current transfers heat in the metal bar. If the temperature increases along with the direction of current, then we call the phenomena as positive Thomson effect. It is observed in copper, silver, cadmium, and zinc. If the reverse thing happens, if the temperature reduces along the direction of current, then the phenomena is referred as negative Thomson effect. It is observed in iron, platinum, nickel and cobalt and also in the mercury. Suppose I pass current in the iron bar from A to B and I heat the middle point C. Then from A to C, heat is evolved. So A to C is hot region. B to C, heat is absorbed. So it is a cold region. That means uh, the temperature is more and at this end temperature is less. So as the current of flow, the temperature decreases. We call this effect as negative Thomson effect. There is one more thing called as a neutral Thomson effect. In um, lead, if you pass current in a particular direction and heat the middle point of the bar, the temperatures at the ends of the bar remains same. So it is called as neutral Thomson effect. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt, Related to the topic, can you put your questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching.